Hey guys, how you doing? So, what would you do if you lived in your vehicle and you went off for a hike or something and you came back and your vehicle was gone? Well, that happened to, I don't know if you guys watch Corey the Moody Traveler. He's a nice, seems like a nice kid. He travels around in his RV and the poor kid, oh, I feel so bad for him. He went surfing and he trusted his keys, I guess, with someone that he shouldn't have and they stole his RV. Ended up they trashed it and everything. It was it was just heartbreaking to watch. So the poor kid, all he had on him was his wetsuit because he was going surfing. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? You know, your whole home that you worked so hard to prepare for yourself was just gone and everything in it. So I think it's a good idea that van dwellers, anybody that lives in their vehicle, have like an everyday carry bag. Now obviously you couldn't have brought that surfing. It's not going to work in every situation because then, you know, you had a way out. Well, if I put it down on the beach, it's going to get stolen. So you have to decide when it would be a good idea to take it and when it wouldn't be worth the risk. But think about, you know, everyone's EDC bag would be different. Think about what you would need if you left your vehicle and came back and it was gone. You know, what's the first thing you'd want to do? Well, you got to call the police, right? So you got to need your cell phone with you. You know, obviously you could borrow one, but what, that's kind of a hassle. You know, so you're going to want your cell phone with you. And what if it's dying? You're going to want your charger with you. You know, maybe one of these little uh, travel battery packs. These are a good idea to keep with you. You're probably going to get a headache, so some motion would be a good idea. Uh, let's see, what else would you need? Obviously, you're going to want your money, your credit cards, your ID. If you have a passport, you're going to want that with you. Uh, be a good idea to have uh, a notebook and something to write on because you're going to be making some phone calls, trying to figure things out. You're probably going to want to write some things down. Right, because the first thing you do, you after you call the cops, is you're gonna have to figure out what you're gonna where you're gonna sleep that night. You're gonna have to get a hotel. Or are you gonna get catch a flight back to your hometown? What are you gonna do? So all that's gonna take money. You're gonna rent a car possibly and drive home. Again, that's gonna probably take a credit card or quite a bit of money. So it's a good idea to have that cushion of cash anyway in case something like this happens in a bank account, not in your vehicle. Say you, you need glasses to drive, sunglasses, whatever, make sure you have those with you. Uh, like I say, your ID, money. Um, you know, I carry a bunch of stuff in my EDC bag that's more of emergency stuff if, you know, there was some natural disaster or something, so you might want that. Uh, so, you know, say you get a hotel for the night because you got no place to sleep. You're going to want to brush your teeth, right? So keep a little toothbrush and toothpaste in that bag. You're going to want to change your clothes. So maybe, maybe consider keeping a change of clothes in that bag. And you're going to want some un clean underwear, at least some granny panties. Got to have that. What else? You probably, if you're a woman, you're probably going to want to brush your hair at some point. Now, obviously, you could go and buy all this stuff, but that's going to get expensive. So, if you could just keep a keep a small bag where you've got just the bare essentials for you. Now, it's going to be different for everybody, but I think that would be a really good idea to keep with you at all times in case your home on wheels gets stolen. All right. Well, please like and subscribe and. Please, if you have any uh, video requests or questions, you can email me, put it in the comments, and I'll possibly make a video about it. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.